And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Well, good Monday morning, everyone. Unfortunately, looking at satellite and radar here, there is nothing going on out there. We're seeing severe, clear kind of conditions out there, very similar to what we saw for your Sunday. The only bright spot is, is that maybe it won't be all that hot out there, at least for today. Looking at yesterday's temperature trend, we got up to about 97, 98 degrees here in Amarillo. We're down in the 70s here as we start things out this morning, and I think today will really be pretty similar. Mid high 90s around the region, so we're not seeing any heat advisories for today. Now, you're going to hear me say for today a lot here in a little bit, and you'll see why just a little bit later on, but you'll see right here for today, you're going to see by 9 a.m., 77, 90s as you head on into the lunchtime period. Keep in mind about 93, 94 is your normal high. We'll see probably about 96, 97 here in Amarillo, while some places could get into the high. 90s, low triple digits in parts of the region, depending on where you're at. Of course, high 80s, low 90s as you head on into this evening. Winds, nothing really new here either. We're going to see southwesterly winds to start today. Might bring some of that warmer air in 5 to 15 miles an hour with those winds turning a little southeasterly heading into this evening and late overnight. We'll see calm winds tomorrow. Now, we do like to see calm winds in the forecast. Don't get me wrong, but this is kind of a side effect of a bigger thing in play, and that's the high pressure. And unfortunately, high pressure is not being our friend, at least for the first part of this week. So here's what we're looking at right now. Your current upper level setup. High pressure system almost centered right over the top of us. You got Hurricane Debbie there off the coast of Florida. That will not play a role in our forecast here for the time being. So let's look at what that high pressure system is expected to do. Situated over us, this is probably through Wednesday, barely into Thursday, but then you will notice as we go in towards Thursday that high should shrink off towards kind of the west. And then what's going to happen then is that's going to open up the door for northwest flow. That's going to bring cold fronts um, out of the north, cooler air into our area. It's going to bring lift off the mountains of New Mexico and hopefully opens up the door for some east southeasterly winds from kind of the Gulf Coast region. And that could maybe boost some rain chances later on in the week. But like I said, up until then, it's going to be very hot out there. Let's look at your seven-day supercast. That's going to be your primary focus through Wednesday. 96 today, low triple digits tomorrow. Wednesday looking like a record-breaking day with a high of 106 degrees. So that's going to be a dangerously hot day. And then we're looking like we're dropping into the 90s. A quote-unquote cool front there drops temperatures down ever so slightly and maybe brings in a 20 to 30% chance of rain here as we head on in closer to this upcoming weekend.